Yeah, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I just thought I'd show you a slightly different type of video rather than the usual van content I normally upload. And today I show you the DIY solar panel system setup that I installed in my back garden last year. And I installed these panels due to the stupidly high soaring prices of electricity that the UK was going through when Russia invaded Ukraine and as we were coming out of the pandemic it all combined to send electricity and gas prices soaring ridiculously high compared to what they've always historically been. That really did spur me on to look into getting some sort of solar panel system in my back garden but I wanted to try and do it as cheaply as possible. So I went onto the Facebook marketplace and found a seller who goes around solar farms around the country buying up their used panels. They're all voltage checked and tested as well and they're all the same panels that I normally fit on top of the vans when I'm doing the van conversions. Now all the panels that you see here are 250 watt panels and I've got them linked up into two different strings. I have a two kilowatt string here in the rear, rear corner of my back garden but because of that tree that's behind the panels that's on my neighbor's property I can't cut that tree down and that does cast a shadow onto the panels in the morning up until around about midday time so because of that I've got two strings, I've got this 2 kilowatt string here but I've also on top of my garage got another 1.5 kilowatts as you can see there with another 6 panels and those 6 panels generally get a lot more sun in the morning compared to the 2 kilowatt that you can see here and that tree really does uh, affect it so I'm thinking of getting them all mounted up onto the roof of my house instead as you can see it's a quite a nice neat enough solar system panel and because I do have a south facing garden as well my garden does get sun pretty much all day every day as well so it does really take advantage of the sun that it gets it's just because I've got a really long tall tree neighboring against my property and because that casts a shadow in the early morning up until midday that's why I decided to go with a two string setup with a dual input MPPT controller that's mounted inside the garage. I'll take you inside the garage in a second and show you that setup as well. But first off, I'll just show you underneath all of the panels and show you how it's all stringed together as well. Now the wood frame, that was just all wood bought from a, a DIY discount uh, builder's merchant type thing as well. All of the uh, frames are cemented into the ground and all of the framework for the panels I pretty much just use decking boards that I've had lying around as well. As I say, I tried to get this solar system panel all wired up and built as cheaply as possible, but also as nice and neatly as possible as well. So the panels themselves provide a nice canopy in the back of the garden as well. But they're all wired up, going through the plastic piping that you can see there as well. And the two different strings going down to the uh, cutoff switch there for the DC switch. And then it all goes into the Solis 3.6 kilowatt dual input MPPT, the solar controller, and that controls all of the uh, input. And it shows you the current input, as you can see there, 1,300 watts. But you can go into the information and it will show you how much voltage and amperage the different strings are producing as well. And as I'm clicking through here, you'll be able to see the total energy produced for the month and for the uh, year as well when you go into the analytics that the app provides as well but as you can see there 13 kilowatts yesterday three so far today but as you can see here i've got this that's the string on top of the garage that's this one that's producing over six amps the two kilowatt is barely producing any amperage there as well and that's purely because of the tree just overhanging a couple of branches and the, the branches are cast in a very small shadow on top of the two kilowatt panels but because of that shadow as you can see the difference between them there I've got 1.5 kilowatts producing a vastly higher amperage compared to the two kilowatts that's barely even producing an amp now we'll give it another hour's time when the sun fully gets past that tree and the two kilowatts really starts to kick in as well and I can show you some of the analytics from the app and the website that the controller sends all the information to as well now as i say i am thinking of moving all of the panels across onto the roof of my house and if you want to see that video i can record that but i will be having that done and mounted professionally with full scaffolding i'm actually going to get a company out to get them all mounted on top of the roof and get it all i'll move the controller inside the house as well but as you can see the uh 
house itself it's just in pure sun all day every day and the reason I didn't get them initially mounted on the roof was basically just for cost cutting measures I wanted to see how much I could generate in my back garden and as I said I'm been really really happy with what they've done so far but as you can see I've got a south facing garden so I might as well try and make the most of it as well because during the winter the sun barely gets above the row of houses in front of me and it doesn't even touch the two kilowatt setup it only starts charging off the garage one whereas if I get them up on the roof it will produce in full winter as long as the sun's out obviously any dull days then you just don't really get much but that's solar panels for you but that is the DIY solar panel system setup that I've got in my back garden as I say it's a full three and a half kilowatt system two kilowatts here with another 1.5 kilowatts on top of the garage on that little stand that I've got there as well so let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want to have a look at when they're getting installed on the roof let me know as well and I'll look to get that recorded as well right so this is the solace website the inverter that I've have in the garage that has a little module input underneath the inverter itself and with that module that connects to your home network you can either have a wired LAN version or a Wi-Fi one I have a Wi-Fi one just because my garage is detached from my house and I didn't want to trail cables going across but obviously depending on where your inverter is and your home network sometimes a wired one might make more sense they're a little bit cheaper as well but this is how I get all of the information off the inverter it uploads it to the Solace website as well as the app that you can also have for your iPhone and Android phones as well and this right here is the driving reason why I'm actually going to dismantle the setup and have it all mounted up onto the roof instead because here I can compare it directly against my brother's setup my brother's house is in exactly the same orientation he has less kilowatts he has three kilowatts but his amount is directly on the roof whereas I have three and a half kilowatts but I'm always going to be fighting against that uh, big tall tree that's in my neighbor's property and because of that so far today it's now just gone two o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see my brother's generated 11.7 kilowatts whereas I'm just on 5.4 and it's that big difference in the morning that is driving me to as I say dismantle the setup that I've got in there even though I'm really happy with it and how it's performing I know that there's still a lot more potential to be had by having them properly mounted on the roof but you can see here I'm now currently generating 2.5 kilowatts and that's because it's a little bit later compared to when I was outside filming and the sun's moved beyond the tree and I'm not getting any shadows cast onto either of the panel string setups so I'm now currently hitting two and a half kilowatts and that might increase a little bit further as well but we're still not even in peak summer yet it's still May so to get two and a half kilowatts off the setup that I've got in the back garden at the moment I'm really happy with it but as I say I know I'm still missing out on potentially more <clears throat> now if i look at the graphs of both uh, mine and my brothers you can see the big dips during the morning for me whereas my brother's relatively steady away compared to when we there was a little bit of cloud that came out earlier on but he's been generating over two kilowatts almost throughout the day and if we look back a day because yesterday was quite sunny again throughout the entire morning you can see the shadow on the different panels are consistently drawing down the panel the power that I could be generating compared to my brother's setup that's in the full sun and you can see a nice smooth curve throughout the day hitting the peak around about two o'clock in the afternoon and he's hitting 2.4 kilowatts and then again a nice smooth curve going throughout the afternoon as well whereas in the morning I'm just getting very very little until the tree is uh, no longer casting a shadow on the panels and that's when I'm seeing the vast majority of my generation as well but you can see so far since i've fully installed them i've generated nearly 900 kilowatts and that's in less than a year i fitted them in september it's now may so you're talking less than nine months something like that so i've been averaging around about 100 kilowatts a month and that should only increase if i do dismantle them and put them up onto the roof as well so if you have to any of the items that i've shown in this video whether that's the used panels or the inverter the module things like that there'll be a couple of links in the video description below otherwise let me know what you think of the system that I've showed you the current setup that I've got as I say it's uh, if it wasn't for that tree I probably wouldn't even be considering moving them it's just because of the amount of shadows that that tree casts 
that's why I'm thinking of taking it all down and getting a pr proper professional company round with all the scaffold and things like that and getting them professionally mounted on the roof. I would consider doing that myself, but I'm not a fan of heights, so I'm going to leave that to the professionals. But as I say, let me know if that's something that you'd actually be interested in seeing as well, and I'll have a look and see if I can be allowed to film them while they're going through that mounting procedure as well. But either way, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the video and the setup that I've got, and hopefully I'll see you on some future content. Cheers.